in this video, I'll show you how to use the Add New Column Virtual Column in Microsoft Project. I don't know if you've ever noticed this or not, but in Microsoft Project, every table includes a column at the far right end called Add New Column. That's the Add New Column Virtual Column. There's a lot of power there, but I think most people have never tapped the power of that column. So in this video, I'll teach you how to use the Add New Column Virtual Column. So let's get started. Way back in the 2010 version of Microsoft Project, the good folks at Microsoft introduced a really cool feature known as the Add New Column Virtual Column. You'll see that column on the right end of every table you display in Microsoft Project. Most people probably already know that if you click the column header of the Add New Column Virtual Column, you can select any built-in or default field that is available in Microsoft Project, such as the Successors field, for example. Once you've inserted the column you want, you probably also know that you'll need to drag it into place. No big deal there. For the purposes of my demo, however, I'm going to hide all of the columns to the right of the task name column because I want to focus on some special functionality of this Add New Column Virtual Column. The first thing I'd like to show you is when you click in the column header of this column and you type the name of a field that is not a default field in Microsoft Project, here's what happens. Microsoft Project will automatically insert the first available text field and then it will rename that text field based on the name that you just entered. So you can see, for example, my POC field is the renamed version of text one. But wait, there's even more interesting functionality with this add new column virtual column. If you type a data value of any type in this column for a task, Microsoft Project will behave like this. If you type a number for a task like 4600, Microsoft Project will automatically insert the first available number field. In my case, that would be the number one column. And if you were to type a monetary value like $1,000 for a task in the Add New Column Virtual Column, Microsoft Project will insert the first available cost field. In cool. my case, that would be the Cost 1 field. And if you were to type either a yes or a no in the Add New Column Virtual Column, you might have guessed Microsoft Project will automatically insert the first available flag field, which in my case would be the flag one field. And if you were to type a duration value, such as 10 days for a task in the Add New Column Virtual Column, you probably anticipated that Microsoft Project would automatically insert the first available duration field, which in my case would be duration one. And then finally, if you were to type text information, such as a name like Calvin Baker in the Add New Column Virtual Column for a task, you will discover that Microsoft Project once again will insert the first available text field. 
In my case, this is not text one, it's text two. Why is that? Remember that text one is already in use as the POC field. Now, there's also some good news for you. If you have inserted a field like number one, but you want to change the data type to something else, it's very easy to do that. For example, in the number one column where I typed 4600, I didn't actually want a number field. I know that I'm going to need to type both numbers and text in the field, numbers and letters. So I need to change number one to a text field. Here's how, it's very easy. Right click on the column header of the column you want to change. On the shortcut menu, go down to the data type flyout menu and choose the type of data you want. In my case, I want this to be a text field. Notice that Microsoft Project changes this to the first available text field, which in my case now is text three. Why is that? Because text one is used as POC, text two is used over on the right, and now we have text three. So if I wanted to change this value, what I meant to type was 4600A101, and look, you've got mixed text and numbers, and it worked just fine. One other bonus I would like you to know is you are not required to display the add new column virtual column in every table. If there's a table where you do not want to see this column, it's very easy to get rid of it. Simply right click on the column header of the add new column virtual column and select the hide column item on the shortcut menu. So there you have it. There's way more features than you probably were aware of in the add new column virtual column in Microsoft Project. At the end of my demo, I hope you said wow about the add new column virtual column because that's how I feel about that feature. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure and like, subscribe, click the notifications button. As is my habit, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section down below. I will do my best to answer every one of your questions. And as always, I'll see you in my next video.